Thank you for choosing the Crystal Clinic Orthopedic Center for your upcoming shoulder surgery. We are proud to have received disease-specific care certification from the Joint Commission for Total Shoulder Replacement, so you can be assured that you'll receive the highest level of care while you're in the hospital. As a hospital dedicated to orthopedic care, our goal is to help you recover more quickly and get you back to the activities you enjoy sooner. This education video will help you understand what to expect before, during, and after your surgery. We highly recommend that you have a family member or friend helping you at home, someone we call a coach for at least a week after surgery. My name is Heather Saylor, and I'm a registered nurse and patient care coordinator. We're very glad that you chose us for your surgery. My team and I are going to talk to you today about your upcoming surgical experience and what it's going to be like. This video will cover how to prepare you, your coach, and your home for care after surgery, what to expect in the hospital for your surgery, and explain what our rehabilitation team will teach you for a safe return home. As part of your recovery after joint replacement surgery, bruising and swelling at the shoulder, chest, and into the hand is normal. You will be fitted for a shoulder sling and provided some form of ice. We will keep some form of ice on your incision site to decrease the amount of swelling. The more swelling you have, the more pain you will have. This may be an electronic machine that you have purchased from your physician's office, or it may be ice bags that will provide for your use while in the hospital. Keep an eye on your ice because it is important to keep the shoulder and arm cool. Once you are home, you will want to ice your shoulder immediately and continue icing regularly throughout the day for the next week after surgery. After the first week, you will continue icing after stretching exercises and throughout the day as the shoulder and therapist dictate. A couple weeks before surgery, it is recommended that you participate in a preoperative physical therapy evaluation. Your therapist will evaluate your current ability and function and educate you and your coach on your precautions and post-op care. You will receive exercises to prepare you for the best outcome. You will have the option to have this assessment performed at one of our Crystal Clinic physical therapy locations. We will demonstrate some simple exercises now. However, your therapist will be more specific once they evaluate your needs. If you're having surgery on your dominant arm, you will also want to practice using your non-dominant arm for things like brushing your teeth, feeding yourself, and performing other daily tasks such as dressing, bathing, toileting, and grooming. You may schedule your outpatient therapy appointment prior to leaving this preoperative appointment. Our goal at Crystal Clinic is to get you back into your normal routine as soon as possible following your surgery. One of the first ways we go about this is to encourage the concept of wellness by how you dress. We want you to dress for success. This is a very simple but empowering step. By wearing your regular clothes, the expectation is that you will mentally begin to focus on becoming healthier and stronger. With that in mind, you'll want to pack two or three sets of loose-fitting clothes, including elastic waistband pants and oversized t-shirts or button-down shirts to make it easier for you to get dressed. Comfortable walking shoes with rubber soles, no flip-flops or anything backless, a hygiene or cosmetics bag, magazines, books, and any device that you use regularly, like a smartphone or iPad. If you have a CPAP machine, TENS unit, or ice machine, please bring those items with you to the hospital on the day of surgery. The night before surgery, there are a couple of things you can do to help prevent infections. Place clean linens on your bed. Take a shower as the last thing you do before going to bed that night, using an antibacterial soap or whatever soap is recommended by your surgeon. Make sure you wash with a clean washcloth, paying special attention to the surgical site. When you get out of the shower, use a clean towel to dry yourself. Then you'll want to put on clean pajamas. At the hospital, on the day of your surgery, you will be given an antibiotic to help prevent infection. When you come into the hospital on the day of surgery, you'll start at the registration desk. Staff there will review your personal information. You will need to bring your insurance cards and a photo ID with you. It is also important to bring a medication list with the name and dosage of each medication. We want to make sure that after your surgery, we get you back on your regular medication. We'd also like for you to bring a copy of your living will or durable power of attorney. After registration, you will go to our same day surgery area where you'll be prepared for surgery. 
please bring in your sling that you were fit with prior to surgery and give it to the preoperative nurse. Your surgeon will see you before surgery and mark the surgical site. You will also speak with an anesthesiologist to discuss the anesthesia for your surgery. Your family will be able to visit with you in the preoperative area before surgery begins, but only two family members at a time are permitted in this area. Please do not bring jewelry or money with you to the hospital. After surgery, you will go to the recovery, also known as the PACU or post-anesthesia care unit. You will be there for at least an hour or possibly longer. During this time, the PACU nursing staff will be keeping a close eye on your vital signs, such as your heart rate and blood pressure. In recovery and during the hospital stay, we'll monitor your pain level as well. Pain is measured on a 0 to 10 scale. 0 is no pain at all and 10 is the worst that you can imagine. We will work with you and your surgeon to keep you as comfortable as possible during your stay. While we can't keep you pain free, our goal is to keep you around a pain level of a 3 to 5. Once you are doing well and waking up easily, we're going to move you to your room. Your family will be notified of this so that they can come and see you. The majority of our inpatient RNs are orthopedic nursing certified, meaning that they are specially trained to care for orthopedic surgical patients like yourself. This means you can expect consistent, high standards of orthopedic care as well as better patient outcomes. Our goal is to work together to help you prepare for returning home after surgery. Upon settling into your room, you'll meet your nurse. Your nurse will take your vital signs, complete a neurological assessment, listen to your heart, lungs, and stomach. Your nurse will also orient you to your room and assess your pain level. Your nurse will inform you of the pain medication your doctor has ordered and the next time you're due for it. Remember, your pain medication is ordered as, as needed, so be sure to request it when you need it. If you need to get a hold of your nurse for any assistance, please use your call button located at your bedside. It is the big button at the top of the device. Remember, your safety is our primary concern. You will be tired, sore, and unable to use a surgical arm after surgery. Your arm will be in a sling for support when you come up from recovery. Your nurse will review our call don't fall agreement with you. The agreement is between you and the nursing staff that you will ask for help before getting out of bed. You will be attached to devices such as IV, pneumatic cuffs, and ice machines that will make it very difficult to get up without assistance. We want to keep you safe during our hospital stay. Please ask for help. Call. Don't fall. Your physician has ordered that you start out with a clear liquid diet after surgery. Shortly after arriving to your room, you will receive your clear liquid diet tray with soup, broth, jello, lemon ice, and hot tea. If you are able to tolerate the clear liquids, you may be able to advance to solid food and order off the menu that's provided for you. The nursing staff will make rounds about every hour during waking hours and about every two hours during the bed night time. Staff will be asking you to rate your pain, ask if you need assistance changing your position, ask if you need assistance to use the bathroom, and if you can reach all your possessions. Our goal is to try to anticipate your needs to ensure your safety and that you have a positive experience. Don't be surprised if your bowel movements are delayed a day or two. This is normal and occurs for lack of diet and movement and is a side effect of your pain medications. During your pre-admission testing, the nurse will review the over-the-counter medications you will need at home to help with this. As part of your recovery, therapy and nursing staff will encourage you to get up and move the day of surgery. The therapist will spend time with you reviewing your exercises for circulation as well as gentle strengthening and range of motion for the operated shoulder, arm, and hand. The therapist will ensure you and your coach understand all aspects of the rehabilitation your surgeon has prescribed to do postoperatively. Therapy also assists with preparing you to go home, educating about safety tips, your daily activities, and self-cares, including bathing and dressing using your non-surgical arm. Your therapist will make sure that you and your coach are prepared for the transition home. After your home, it is important for you to continue with the exercises you've been taught by your therapist. We'd also like to encourage you to continue to get up and walk at home to increase circulation and blood flow throughout your body. A gentle walking program on flat surfaces with up to three walks per day for about 10 minutes each will help you feel better and promote healing. At discharge, your arm will be in your sling. Your surgeon will determine when to remove and how long to wear your sling. You can reference your surgeon's protocol for a complete list of activities you should refrain from post-operatively. We realize this is a lot of information to remember, 
So just to recap, here's a list of items you should pack for your stay with us. Loose fitting clothing, comfortable rubber soled walking shoes, no flip flops or backless shoes, hygiene or cosmetic bag, photo ID, insurance cards, updated medication list, all documentation from your doctor's appointments, pre-admission testing and pre-operative physical therapy, sling, CPAP, TENS units, or ice machine if applicable, and any books, magazines, or devices you use on a regular basis such as smartphone, iPad, or laptop. In order to leave the hospital, you'll need to meet specific discharge criteria. Your therapist will make sure you complete all your therapy appropriately so that you feel confident about manage your care at home. We will also confirm that you understand how best to manage your care at home. Additionally, we'll make sure you have medical clearance, the prescriptions you need, and have the physical therapy or nursing arrangements made prior to leaving. Thank you again for choosing the Crystal Clinic Orthopedic Center for your shoulder surgery. We hope that you have found this educational video to be informative and helpful in answering some of your questions. Let your physician, nurses, or therapists know if you have any questions about your upcoming procedure. We're happy to answer all your questions to ensure a successful surgery and a quick and healthy recovery. We do wish you well.